Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Tacoma Tier D Sport. Now the most suitable features on this Tier D Sport is its heated front seats. You also have your backup camera and your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Tacoma Tier D Sport. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Tier D Sport is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look just at your front hood you're going to see your hood scoop. Over on the side you have your plug in block heater and then you also have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors, foldable mirrors, vortex generators and one of the nice things with the Tier D Sport is you do have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your gray cloth interior seat surfaces with your driver lumbar support and if we take a look just over on your left hand side you're going to see your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet along with your automatic headlights and then on the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, volume control, voice recognition, mode select, Bluetooth, scroll function for your multi-informational display, lane departure alert, and cruise control. Now you also have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you have a digital speedometer with the distance to empty, as well as your trip info, and then you can also go through your navigation, your audio, you have your lane departure alert with your tire pressure monitoring, messages and then you also have your settings for your pre-collision uh, pre sorry pre system, lane departure alert and then you also have your settings menu as well. And if you take a look at the very top of the screen there you're going to see an exterior temperature gauge. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display you're going to see a couple of different options which include inside the apps menu your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now if we take a look just down below here you are going to see your uh, 4x4 select, your hazard lights, heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. You also have your dual zone climate control settings, heated mirrors, and then if we look underneath here, you'll see your ECT power, open and close for your power rear window, USB and auxiliary, and your power outlet. Now it's matted to an automatic transmission, and if we take a look at the very top here, you're going to see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And at the very top you will find your traction control on and off with your sunglass case holder. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate now. One of the nice things is you do have the uh, three-piece rear bumper so in the event that you do damage the one section you just have to replace the one segment. On the inside of the bumper you'll find your seven and your four pin for your towing. Located underneath it you'll find the spare tire. And then on the back of the tailgate, you have the backup camera as well as the lock for the tailgate. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo bed just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now taking a look just over on that right hand side, you're going to see that rear cargo power outlet. So the nice thing with that power outlet is if you're out at the cabin or the lake during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools, you can do so. Or if you'd like, you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now you also have some tie down areas just located over on your uh, left, right, front and back side where you can tie down any loose cargo just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed. And then you have some storage space on your right and left hand side and then the other nice thing is you do have the bed rail system in here as well. So you can readjust those cleats that you see on either side there, place them all in one side of the bed rail system or take them out all together just depending on what your needs are for. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.